It's a crowning achievement for a career that's just getting started. Maya Rose Craig may just be 17, but today she was handed an honorary PhD before she's even sat her A-levels. It's all for good reason. There's a corvid up here, I think it's a crow. How many teenage twitchers do you know who've done um, TED Talks? I've been doing all of this since I was very, very young. Featured in documentary series at primary school, whilst also making it a life mission to make conservation and environment spaces more diverse. I'm guessing you don't know many teenagers like Maya Rose. So I've been going out into nature literally since I was a baby. My parents have always taken me out. And I feel like I'm very lucky because I have had that opportunity. But um, obviously I'm not white and as I grew older I began to realise that um, there weren't many other people out there that looked like me. And so I started um, Black to Nature. As you can see, Maya Rose started birdwatching at a young age. At 14, she took a group of young, diverse people from Bristol to the countryside to encourage them to learn more about nature. She's been a tireless campaigner for equality and diversity. Chris Packham knows a thing or two about nature, and he was happy to celebrate with Maya today. It's deserved as well. She has done tremendous work in the last few years to bring a greater awareness of the lack of engagement between different racial mixes in the natural world in the UK. It's something that my generation, all of the NGOs, have ignored and failed to deal with, and she's made very rapid progress in a very short space of time. I'm a tremendous fan. Maya Rose is also the youngest person in the world to spot half the planet's birds. But despite all of her achievements, today for her was truly special. Just being up there on that stage and knowing that the University of Bristol is really acknowledging all the work that I've been doing was just an amazing feeling. And so what next? There's a small matter of her exams this summer before a degree at university next year. Warren Nettleford, 5 News.